Well, here we are. You guys wanted this, so I'm delivering it. This is my accepted portfolio into CSM Industrial Design or BA Product Design. Now, before we get started, I wanna mention that I personally did the IB diploma, so my portfolio might be a little bit different to people applying from the UK if they didn't do the IB. So I'm currently in my third year of BA Product Design at Central St. Martins or Industrial Design. And so to not make this sort of really one-sided to one course or one sort of part of design, I'm gonna to try to make this as open as possible and trying to give advice that helps every course imaginable at CSM or any other design course really and to do that I'm gonna have to be kind of broad and kind of give a lot of examples so if that's cool with you let's just jump right into the video and I'll show you guys my first page which was my my cover page which is just my name and in the video I'm gonna kind of go over some some pros and cons of each page and what I would have done differently four years on and how I've improved or or maybe I haven't improved yeah it's pretty much gonna be lessons that I've learned from CSM and how I can apply that now to this portfolio four years on so my first page is my it's just my name and maybe Maybe I, I, I remember doing this in Google Drive, like PowerPoints basically. And if I would have obviously gone back four years and done it now, I would have done it a custom thing in Illustrator or in Photoshop and really just made this a front page that could be really kind of speak to who I am as a designer and really show what I can do. And I, I don't think this really does that. But yeah, let's just move on to the, to the actual first page. The first page, I wanted to start off strong and it's not really anything related to product design or industrial design or anything like that. It was a portrait that I did of Tyler the Creator when I was 16. I think I did it with a Wacom tablet that I got for my birthday. And with this, I just wanted to show kind of the first thing that you see be like, bam, you know, I can, I know that I'm, that I'm talented in this and th that I can, I can kind of carry my weight if I get accepted, right? I want to be accepted. So here are my, like, this is me proving to you that I can do it and I'm confident. And, you know, it, you kind of have to sell yourself in that way. The next page is me kind of explaining the process and that's going to be a really reoccurring theme in this video it's going to be process 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 and explaining your decisions why you did certain things that you did and so yeah you can see that the it goes it kind of builds the the image it goes from like only the nose to the face and the hat the jacket everything and here if you zoom in you can kind of see all all the things that i need to do smoothen the jaw clear up something um can't really read that more narrow nose bridge, lighter brows. And so this is kind of like notes to myself of what I need to do to kind of get it to the final stage. And this is another version that I had, and this is what I posted on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, go follow me right here. I'm sure I'll have the name here. And yeah, that's kind of the, the first two pages where I show something completely different to what I'm gonna, what I'm applying to study, but it does, it is similar in the fact that I want to kind of prove to, to them that I can do it, that I'm good and that I'm talented in, in drawing or sketching or whatever. And this is kind of like the first thing that they see. So it has to be, you know, it has to be very impactful. Next thing up is a motorcycle concept design. Now when I applied to CSM, I was also applying to Coventry for transport design. So I made sure to get a lot of, uh, obviously, motorcycles and cars and trains, boats, whatever. I made sure to get a lot of that in this portfolio as well. So I'm sorry about that if you're not interested. Um, <laughs> But yeah, this is the first sort of thing that I that I involve regarding uh, automotives or sketching or industrial design as a whole, and it's pretty basic. It's a it's a pretty loose sketch, but I think it kind of sets the tone of the next pages to come. So this is a project where I did a complete motorcycle in Cinema 4D, where I kind of built it up. And this page is one of my favorite pages because it kind of has the the from sketch to the outline of 3D, the the complete kind of build and, and everything. And obviously the, the model itself is, is super basic, but kind of going from a high school way to then applying to CSM and kind of already having these skills is really valuable because the teachers know or the lecturers know that you can kind of hold your weight with 3D programs and, and SketchUp or Cinema 4D or whatever it is. Here we also see again me kind of talking to myself at how I'm thinking about the design kind of from a UX standpoint, you know, I was thinking about UX before I even know what it really was. It does not make sense, right? I'm kind of trying to tell them the story that I know what I'm thinking about and, I, and I'm thinking about the user experience here. And I'm also talking to myself and what I need to get done, the lights, the thing, and this is kind of a, what it could look like, again, with some fake branding here and some, some unfinished but almost finished things. And then this was a 
picture or not a picture a process shot where it's kind of half done and it's me kind of showing to them that i know how to play around with 3d softwares with lighting setups with correct shadows and textures and kind of getting getting to them that that i can start to learn a little bit more and i'm kind of proficient in it already now next up is kind of a different one it's it was a piece that I didn't know if I should include or not, but I think in the end I, I, I'm glad I did because it showed a tangible piece of design that not many people I think had. Like I bought a wooden blank deck from like a blank skateboard and then I printed on top a vinyl from that that I just designed myself. I designed the entire vinyl and then I just kind of loosely, well not loosely, but like in a, in a very shit way, I, I placed it on and it came out with this really nice 3D shape where I kind of wanted the the design to be three-dimensional in a way where people can see or read about the the illustration in both sides and also this is at the time where I was really into this my own brand that I created called Sato I'm actually wearing that right now <laughs> but so yeah, this was kind of a, a piece where you where you could look at it both ways and I designed this in Illustrator and I didn't have any concept pieces until until the next few pages i just wanted to kind of show what the design actually was and so for the 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 idea and the process behind this i'm kind of explaining why i prefer the logo to be facing forwards or backwards and i'm kind of explaining that i want it to be able to be seen from both ways right and i'm also playing around with different shapes here and different texts and different images and colors and shapes and this is all very cosmetic, but it, it kind of shows them that, you, that you're thinking about the entire process and who's gonna be looking at the skateboard and who's gonna be writing it or whatever. And yeah, this is a very cool kind of project and different project to work on. I really enjoyed this one. Now, this is sort of a funny story because when I was drawing the, these sketches, it was the night before I had to hand it in. And I realized that I had all of these illustrations and whatever, but I didn't have any uh, industrial design sketches per se. I didn't have any of that kind of sketches that, that you usually see on Pinterest or whatever. And so what I did was I went on Pinterest and I found a bunch of tools and products like an iron, a hairdryer and a drill. And I just loosely did some sketches of them. And this is what I, this is what obviously came out in the end. And I did it in Photoshop with my Wacom tablet as well. And so yeah, again, with the, obviously I sound like a broken record, but it's like, you have to explain where the grip is and why down downward forward for accuracy right you have to be explaining to them that you are thinking about these things and you're not just drawing a pretty picture right it has to have reasoning and you need to be showing that you have full understanding of this product of what you're doing and like why why a certain button is here and, and not there why is it more comfortable to do this or that you have to actually be explaining these reasons and this is a very similar thing this is kind of a two sketches of a stapler kind of the the old versus new concept that is what i was kind of imagining or designing a different way of creating a stapler and this was really just for me to kind of show that i knew I had to sketch some some very basic shapes and then kind of tried my, my luck here with this isometric one but it didn't really work out and here we are again with the explaining why things work the way they do if it's too short if it's too high how the actual thing works and then we get more into the automotive side where and transport side where i hear i'm just designing some some pretty loose sketches of motorcycles and cars i included this one again to kind of encapsulate all the transportation designs i kind of had my name here i remember to kind of prove that this is my design <laughs> for some reason and then some other sketches kind of like a snowmobile thing and then some top view, a human, all of it to kind of show that I know how to play around with different perspectives and dimensions. And obviously some are better than, than, than others, like this wheel's pretty, pretty crappy. The next one is also not very industrial design focused, but it has kind of that same aspect where I show that I have control of the materials that I work with. Like in this case, I remember just doing all of these over the summer with a color pencil with a single one and then this one was with a ballpoint pen this was with the, the tablet again and then these are with mechanical pencils and it's kind of just showing that i know kind of how to hold the pencil in and actually do some things and yeah this is obviously very different to what i'm doing now but it it is good to kind of play around with different ways to to draw and to design before you get into 
full UI or full product design or whatever, it is good to kind of include a little bit of everything. This was a menu concept where you had different pieces and you added on to the, to the menu with a magnetic board. Didn't really take off. <laughs> And again, I'm showing the explanations behind why everything works the way it does. Why did I go with this concept instead of this one? Or how would it be different if I had the different colors or different designs? And here I'm also explaining some different research and ideation. And I'm also thinking about it in a 3D way. So how would it look from, from the bottom? Now this piece took me a really long time and it's one of my favorites that I've even, even till now, it's one of the favorites that I've done so far. And it's essentially a, a hotel where it has a bunch of different rooms and kind of every room is a different personality or a different story. And I got this idea from a from an abandoned, or I think it's been torn down now, but it, it was this place called Kowloon City. And they had basically the biggest density of, of people in the world until it got torn down. And so I wanted to kind of encapsulate that with a little 3D isometric thing. I had a little obsession with isometric designs and, and concepts, especially the 3D ones. And so here I'm kind of showing just a bunch of research and, and just me talking about it. And good luck to anyone trying to read this. <laughs> it's not really the best handwriting in the world, but it kind of works and it kind of shows them that I'm, I'm just kind of getting my ideas out into the world. And here we see the, the loose sketches of the, the, the place itself. And I remember, I think I did these after I actually created the, the piece. And you, you can see how, not how badly done, but how like loose these actually are. And that's because I personally don't work in, in this way where I do research and then I do process and then I do this and that and this and that. And then I have a final thing. I don't really work like that. I kind of work backwards just because I, I think of a, of a problem and a solution rather than research and, and all of that. But I remember I had to do this for the IB just, just for the grades and for the process and they wanted to see it. And yeah, you just kind of have to do it sometimes even though you don't really want to. If you guys did enjoy this, let me know down below and let me know if you've been applying to CSM and how it went. I am really looking forward to hearing back from you guys. If you guys have any questions of the pages I showed down below, then just let me know and I'll make sure to reply. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.